Hi, I'd like to talk to you now a little bit about our V254 wound lamp, also letting you know that it is FDA approved in the United States, not only for decubitus ulcers or what we call bed sores, but also for dermatological conditions. To my knowledge, at the time of this filming, there is no other device in the United States that is approved for both applications. One of the things I want to let you know how this wound lamp got started was historically we had what were called UVPTs, and these were ultraviolet physical therapists that basically were in the military, and this is prior to the advent of penicillin when they were using sulfur drugs. And what they would do is they would have, they just had some types of uh, pathogens that they could not get rid of. But the one thing that was for sure is if you applied UVC to those wounds, it doesn't matter if they were localized or systemic, if you applied them to the open wound, then you would kill any pathogen that was there. One of the statements that I made when I first started researching this and prior to us getting some FDA approval and some of the little patents that went with it was, can anyone intelligently challenge this statement? There is no known pathogen in the world that has ever been able to mutate so as to avoid the lethal effectiveness of the V254 or ultraviolet C range. And I sent that out to more than 2,000 people that were professionals. American Academy of Wound Management was one of the groups. And, I mean, they de deal with wounds all the time, and nobody has ever refuted that, that claim, nor do I believe can it be refuted. Ultraviolet C will kill every pathogen we know of. You will not develop super germs when you're using ultraviolet C. Uh, example, this V254, you can't, you either kill it or you don't kill it, but you don't create a new germ. And what put this on the map was when we started this discussion, I actually went to a seminar. And one of my seminars, and I will tell all of you now, one of the best books, if you're involved in wound care management, one of the best books you could possibly buy is Wound Healing, Alternatives in Management. You can see, uh, Joe McCullough and Luther Cloth, and they did that together with a, a guy named Jeff, and they actually started this book off. But this, I can literally tell you, if you're involved with wound management, this is, without a doubt, the best book you could possibly own. It is still in print. You can still get it. Well, we were doing a seminar, and I went to one of the seminars, and I was listening to them talk about ultraviolet. When it was all over with, I, I remembered when there were UVPTs, and I said, well, why aren't people using this anymore? And basically, there wasn't a device. And so as I researched ultraviolet more, and again, I'm talking C range, it became clear to me, wait a minute, this can be done. Why is this not being used, especially when you're not creating super germs that can cause harmful, harmful effects to society, and not just in the United States, all over the world? And so I said, you know, we need to figure out how to do this. And so that's what started us on this. Well, I was fortunate enough that in that seminar, there was a lady with her PhD in uh, microbiology, and she also was a physical therapist, and her name was Dr. Teresa Connor Carr. And one of the things that happened was Teresa saw that I was enthused about trying to understand this stuff. And Teresa, and this was about 1997, Teresa actually put a study together and she started taking our V254 wound lamp. And she put a study together in which she looked at some of the most difficult germs we deal with, which was Mercer and VRE. And she said, can ultraviolet C eradicate MRSA and VRE? So she put a study together which was published in Wound Care and Ostomy Management. And this was actually in October of 1998. And inside the study, which was published, one of the neat things about this study is Teresa actually claimed 100% eradication of these different types of bacteria and there as they uh, actually changed and became VRE. And she also did it with non-resistant strains. And the nice thing that came out of the study was they showed 100% eradication in the little the culture, the Petri dish. And they also showed in this study that not only were they able to kill the resistant, but the resistant MRSA VRE 
were even easier to kill than the non-resistant. And that was significant. And once this was published, then many people started following it from that point on, saying, what's going on with ultraviolet? What I want to show you now is what Teresa used, uh, what there's up in Canada, uh, Ethne Nussbaum at McGill University is doing a great deal of work. There's a Dr. Pamela Houghton also up in Canada. And what we have found is in socialized medical systems versus what we have in the United States, the more, more socialized type medical systems, they have to look for efficacy and they also have to look at low cost. And it is very difficult to overcome low cost when you're dealing with ultraviolet light. We sell this device here. It's called the V254 wound lamp. This is our device. You can see here it's fairly small. You can see the size of my hand. I'm not a big-handed person. The actual exposure area is right here. Happy to answer any questions. You can always get in touch with us. Just call us on our 800 number. You can also send me an email or go to our website, and that's www.medfaxxinc.com. And you can see that at the bottom of the screen anyway. But any questions, I'd love to talk to you and explain to you with better detail and help you develop, develop treatment protocols uh, so that you can use the V254 more effectively. Thank you for watching.